My name is Michael Bosen. I have a PhD from a technical university of Denmark, and I have for the last five years been working on a project that aims to create computer chips that can repair themselves. The self-repairing chip technology we have developed allows electronic chips to repair themselves in a similar fashion as a human body repairs damaged tissue resulting from a cut or sunburn. The main innovation in the project is that we have developed an electronic DNA for chips similar in concept to the DNA in human cells. Now, transistors, which are the basic component of all electronic chips, are becoming smaller and smaller in order to save power and increase speed. But the negative side effect of this is that they also become more prone to failures, such that even small disturbances can cause a fault, and these faults become more frequent even after a few years of use. Now, this is a trend which increasingly worries the major chip companies Intel, AMD, Sunnings, and Altera. Our electronic DNA-based chips will enable electronic components to survive for an extended period of time, even under extreme conditions such as excessive radiation, vibration, or temperature variations. And during our collaboration with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in 2010, we learned that there's a definite need for our technology, and we have since discovered a widespread need for applications based on it. Now, avionics and space applications are obvious industries of interest, but the fact that we can prolong the lifetime of a chip also makes the technology very relevant down on Earth. If a chip is deployed in, for instance, deep sea, arctic, or offshore conditions, you will have a desire not to go and repair it if it breaks down. A very specific example of this could be a wind turbine, where the cost of downtime and repair are significant, even if it's down for just one day. And even though hardware faults are rare, the wind turbine operator could potentially save millions of dollars by using our chips in the wind turbines. And this is why we're currently collaborating with a wind turbine sub vendor to implement a specific wind turbine application based on our technology. But of course, apart from remote applications such as the wind turbines, our chip also caters to the high safety domain of applications such as car control systems, medical, train signaling, financial applications, and so on. So we have identified several interesting areas where our technology could be applied with great value. And this is the reason why we're currently creating a startup named Biomicore.